Max. We're a little bit tired. It's a Monday. It has tired. actually these ones here. I, I was at a wedding and I am still drunk. Yeah, I'm I not. Can see that. Weddings take years off of your head and your liver. But we have got a job to do. You know, yeah. we are going to talk you through. I think we're just going to try and do a bit more how to assemble these things videos. And um, let's get started. What do you want to have a look at? Uh, now, my van, I love it. Mm, so do but I. I'm often making coffees out the back, getting rained on. That would be a terrible thing it to happen. It would be. How on earth would I remedy this? Well, luckily for you, I've got just the product. Oh. One of these carbon fiber poles here just to that. this boy, the coffee shelter, <laughs> and one of these. It's actually a pretty cool product. It's friggin' simple and it's like one of our faves. Ready? Yeah. Banana. I'm not gonna go full Jimmy because we're gonna go full Jimmy in a minute, okay? okay. And then on, in this little bag here, you got a little logo with a barcode and someone complained about it once, smelling of neoprene. Why would you complain about that? That's what I thought. It's the best smell, it's on, best smell on earth. Fresh wetsuit. Yeah. It? So this is made of your wetsuit material. Um, and yeah, it's just a bit, it's, it's more of a, I was about to say square. It's like a refined square shape yeah. that goes over the back doors. This we call the leading edge. And that goes up there. It's probably going to fall off while I put it on this side here. But this is the... Um, How can you identify the leading edge? Just talk us through. I'd say the leading edge is the bit that, I mean, yeah, as I said, it's like a long rectangle. Leading edge has got the buckles on. Here you okay, go. Okay, cool. And then this guy, to be fair, on a T5, we lash it around this guy, but you could, if you got any other van, it could go around that bracket or friggin' that one, or the whole idea is you can, we, the reason it's made of neoprene and super stretchy is because it's universal. It can fit pretty much any barn door. And even if it's got like, some dudes like putting spoilers on these puppies. You can put it on the spoiled van. You can put it on whatever. Yeah, whatever. For the transporter T5 specific boy, we're going to go under there. And then we're going to go over here. And then we're going to go back over here. Go on, Oliver. Get out of there. It's those wedding jitters. Still got me. What's your go-to when you're at a wedding, Max? Are you drinking the beers or are you into the savvy bee? If I can get myself some, some sort of spirit or rum. Is that happening early on or is that like a go-to later on? Beer slows me down, I find. Whereas spirits keep me... Keep you raging? Keep me up. So if I can get spirit early. <laughs> keep on, keep on fine. And then, you know, we go crazy on the, on the wine. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Same on this side? Same on this side. We're gonna go up and over. Up. Sorry, this looks friggin' fiddly. It's not usually fiddly, it's just my dumb hands being dummies. And actually, on the T5s, like this boy, you can max that out. Maximumed. Come around here, give that a bit more maximum. You wanna see this little bit here, maximum? Oh yeah, give it a max. <laughs> And that kind of just pulls that into, there's a rubber that goes around there and it just sort of pulls it on. Pretty good. Are we happy? Yeah, that looks good. You ready for phase two? Phase two. Phase two. Am I sweating? Yeah. These need a teeny bit of help. You go throw this elastic fella over there. And then pull this boy here. Yeah. And then you can kind of give it a bit of a helping, you should say helping hand. Yeah, helping hand. And then these you can actually like trim to fit, these hooks. Um, I mean on the T5 they can go wherever, but Today, that's perfect. But you can pull that knot out and then make that tighter if you wish. Um, we've just done it long just so you can... I, I, think, I think it's fair to say trim to fit. Oh, good tension on that side. Look at that. And then, it's now a matter of rigging. Don't be afraid. And then this is where you can give it a bit more beans. Are you ready? Yeah. You see that go, pong? That's nice. Beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, this one, it's made of neoprene, and if you're a weird surfer boy or girl, you know that neoprene isn't 100% waterproof. 
it is got some great characteristics that work with water. It isn't waterproof, so this thing is not 100% waterproof. However, it is highly water resistant. It will be able to stand up to the occasional shower. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one to jump in and you got all your, your friends here and we're having a coffee. Oh, should we could just do a disassemble a tree? Um, oh yeah, let's take it down. Yeah, not, not for any other good reason apart from I'm good at this. Self-proclaimed good at stuff. If you just go this boy, undo this guy. I'm getting barreled. And then I found in my many years of pissing around with these, oh, nice. you do the old Johnny Roller. And then give that the old yee And then you can get your gubbins and just sort of... Don't let them hit you in the eyes. Mm. And then... It's like the old days, trying to roll up your windsurf sail and the, the bag being a little bit small, but... Bit of a wrestle. Why did they never make the bag a little bit bigger? Go on, eh? That was the brief I had for the factory for this one. I think, look. Like, so yeah, I yeah, think that that. So I think that was good. Um, and there it is. And we usually sling that. There we go. Next product. Let's go. Let's do it.